lies. People like lies. It sounds outrageous, but it's true. Um, people like to be told sweet little lies um, because the truth is horrific. <clears throat> and um, people would rather not uh, be confronted by it. And, uh, you know, I don't blame them in many ways. Uh, but the problem is uh, that uh, this comfort we seek from, you know, lies, from being deceived, um, it is endangering others. It is uh, the causation of all suffering. Um, you know, because when we paint a pretty picture of, you know, what is going on in this world, of what this world is, of, you know, what potential we have and where we're going, I'm afraid it does a disservice to, you know, those that suffer horrifically and those that are, you know, uh, possibly going to be harmed dreadfully uh, by being brought into this world. Um, so, yeah, from a, from a very young age, we are taught um, to accept lies. We're fed lies. Um, and I don't know, I mean, it seems to be um, much of, civil society is you know biting your lip um some things are best left unsaid just so that you know the wheels of civility um can keep turning and uh, there isn't uh, you know any kind of confrontation or aggression <clears throat> publicly aired so people like to you know it's a, it, it can, and i understand uh, why autistic people find it hard to navigate the world because humans are by default such fucking liars um and you know we use poker faces we use tonality in our voice that betrays what we are saying sometimes um we um we tell half truths we we yeah we in, in different situations, we like to hide our, our our emotions to save face or to seem stronger than we are or, you know, perhaps to seem unafraid, um, to put on a show, <laughs> to put on a show so that we um, look good. Um, and this is obviously for a plethora of reasons, obviously, um, maybe it is ultimately to attract a mate. Uh, sometimes it is to bluff to others to, to so that we appear you know unafraid so that we appear unthreatened by you know the presence of others who actually you know <laughs> in reality we find threatening um so yeah life is a very strange game of uh, poker um a, a game of lies and and people like to um hear them um so people like to hear that they look good. Um, I mean, people like to hear that they're intelligent. People like to hear that they're skillful. Um, people like to hear that they're good at, you know, whatever it may be, sex, cooking, <laughs> telling jokes, um, golf, whatever the hell it is. People like flattery, and often flattery is full of lies. Um, and, you know, I could, you could argue that um, even flattery that is not a lie is kind of a lie uh, inadvertently. And that, that's because people don't accept that, you know, there's no kind of real acclaim to be sought in um, a deterministic universe because nobody chooses who they are. Nobody chooses their skill levels. Nobody chooses their aesthetics. Um, really... Um, yeah, it's uh, it's all just determinism. So everything is a lie in that regard as well, because we like to say well done, we like to say congratulations, when in reality um, there's nothing to congratulate, there's nothing to say well done for, because people are just doing what they do, because they can and they want to. And uh, so there is no um, real... Basically... Congratulations, uh, well done, is <laughs> it, just another form of, of lying. So yeah, um, I'm just blabbering on here as usual, but I just want to say that it's all one big fucking lie fest, isn't it? And um, it's just uh, remarkably insane that uh, this is what we do, and we have to do it to, to get by as a species. 
uh, we have to face each day. We have to tell lies that tomorrow is going to be better when the truth is we don't know. We don't know what tomorrow will bring. And we live in hope um, when ultimately we know that it's it's ultimately doomed. Uh, civilization is doomed. It will come to an end. So even that is a bit of a lie that uh, we're going somewhere when we're actually going nowhere. Um, <clears throat> and um, yeah, it's uh, it's a strange setup. I mean, it's a very, very strange setup. I mean, romantically, we say, you are the one for me. Um, how many cheaters have said that? Um, how many people who, um, who, 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 who basically leave their partner for somebody else have, have said that? Um, yeah, we're, we're great fucking liars. And um, unfortunately, the people that pay for it, the people that pay the price are the children brought into this world by the lying, conniving, cheating, hurtful, deluded, moronic, imbecilic idiots who choose to keep the the wheel of lies turning. And unfortunately, it is the causation of all very real and truthful harm. The truth is very harmful. The truth of this world is, is very harmful. What actually happens in it is very harmful. Um, but there is one truth that isn't um, particularly harmful, and that is antinatalism. <clears throat> it is perhaps uh, the ultimate truth that there is no need for anybody to suffer because of lies. There is nobody. There is no need for anybody to tell a lie, to receive a lie. Um, there is no need for anybody to suffer ever again because of you. Um, you have the power to prevent the proliferation of lies. You have the power to prevent the proliferation of um, victims of lies. You can stop the lies. You can reach for the truth. You can say enough is enough. There will be no more suffering because of me. Um, thank you very much.